We've been gone for a very long time, but we're back with a yet another newsletter. This is our very last newsletter for this academic year. So, so enjoy. enjoy. So, Ashad, have you seen the Treasure Island performance? What Treasure Island performance? The Haley Berry community once again enjoyed a successful stage adaptation of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Directed by Miss Burgess, uh, the show was captivating and remarkable. As an actor, I want to congratulate everyone who was performing and everyone who was involved and to say thank you to the director and the teams who were responsible for the set designs, for stage technology and the costumes. We cannot wait to see any future performances. And I cannot wait to participate in them. You can watch the highlights of the show on our YouTube channel. Our students never stop winning, so we have yet another Olympiad to mention. Haley Barry Almaty sent four representatives to compete in the annual National Science Olympiad, and they've shown impressive results. Insar in year 12 was awarded a gold medal in chemistry, Batrhan and Mahmoud in year 13 were awarded silver medals in mathematics, and lastly, Akijan was awarded a bronze medal in physics. Also, Insar and Batrhan were awarded places in their national teams for their subject, and they've been given the opportunity to compete in the International Olympiad to represent Kazakhstan. We're very, very proud of our students. We commend their great minds and hard work. All right, do you like hiking? Yes, I do actually. And you know what? Recently, 44 students from year 10 and 11 completed a two-day expedition to conclude their Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award program. They were fully responsible of themselves. Their route, their meals, and their navigation was all in their hands. Wow, that sounds so interesting. Yes, and you know what? Despite all the challenges, they went through successfully. Congratulations to the brave students on the way to receive a Duke of Edinburgh Award, who is actually recognized by many prestigious universities. The students in the school eco committee were awarded runners-up in the film competition for eco schools. Their project featured the students' initiative to collect clothes and give them a second life for sustainability. And the successful fashion show, which was held in winter for clothes from second-hand shops. This demonstrates how much our students truly care about environmental sustainability. The NAE gave great feedback and we want to congratulate everybody who participated. Our school had yet another uniting sports event. All four houses competed with each other in basketball and tug of war. Kipling won the first place in the tug of war, but Atli won the first place in basketball. Congratulations. Well done to all participants, and we hope everyone enjoyed this day, especially as a nice physical activity before the exams have started for years 11 to 13. Oh, look at these university destinations. Oh, well, actually, these pictures are from last year. So now, we will be telling you about the success stories of our this year's graduates. Hello, Mr. Stockermans. So, what do you think our top 10 universities a student got in this year? You know what? I hate talking about top 10 because I keep telling you guys, don't believe in rankings. The famous universities, I'll talk about them. Yeah, the Harvard, the Chicago, University of Los Angeles, uh, Cambridge, LSE. We have a lot of famous universities, but I'd like to point out as well, we've got a lot of universities that are probably not so famous, but are equally good. Uh, one kid's going to China, Chin Hong Kong, Chinese University of Hong Kong, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Uh, we have a, a girl going to a very famous art school, uh, William de Koning in Rotterdam. So schools that you've never heard of, but they're actually very, very good. So don't just go only for the famous ones, look beyond the fame. Okay, thank you for this advice. You're very welcome. Our year 13 graduate of 2023 Rabia has been accepted into Brown University, her dream Ivy League school. It is one of the most prestigious universities in the US and worldwide. Well done Rabia. The undeniable golden girl of Haleybury Almaty, Alexenia, has been accepted into multiple prestigious universities, including Cambridge, LSE, Columbia University and Sciences Po. She is also the first Haleybury student to ever get an offer from Harvard University. Alexenia truly earned this joy, being the school captain, participating in MUN, the well-being and eco committee, the Tuzbia app, and many other activities certainly required a lot of dedication and hard work. 
Nabi has been accepted to Franklin and Marshall College that accepts less than 500 students annually. This is a tremendous achievement. What makes this even more impressive is that he received a $20,000 merit scholarship for his academic achievements. Another exceptionally hard-working student we must congratulate is Anwar. As the founder of HAL MUN and Kipling's house captain, Anwar has made an incredible contribution to our school. He has received offers from UChicago and UCL to study economics, two of the top 10 universities in the world. Arlo got accepted into the Willem de Kooning Academy of Art. One of the best modern art schools worldwide, Arlo had to go through a rigorous process of admissions and their hard work paid off. Truly a work of art. We have another school captain to celebrate. Alinur received offers from multiple prestigious universities, Loughborough University, UCL, Sheffield University, and UCLA School of Engineering. He is going to study bioengineering and he will surely be a success. Nicholas was successfully admitted to the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And to top it all off, he received a 50% scholarship and free accommodation for four years. A very practical and impressive achievement. Aldiar has been accepted to Boston University, a truly prestigious and competitive university where he will study chemistry. Hello everyone! Here we have next to us your sixes and your fives. We want to tell you our newsletter. Come to our very last newsletter. This is my friend Ronnie. Hi everyone! Perry, what a busy term! That's right! We want to tell you about what's been happening for the last couple of months in Halleberry Almaty. Let's talk about our amazing dancers. They worked really hard in the Halleberry Almaty dance studio. And guess what? They won first place in the Hello Summer competition on May 21st. I love dance, but I definitely can't beat them in ballet. Way to go, girls. We're so proud of you. Now let's talk about our year six students, which will be joining the senior school next year. They got to they got to see the senior school classes and got to meet their new house tutors. Well, we want to wish them good luck and have a nice time. Today is we're transition day, yay! Transition day, year seven, and we're in biology. I really like transitioning into year seven and experiencing all of these new lessons and um, things like that, yeah. Yeah, I like that we get more independence to like choose when we can eat our lunch time, to like go outside whenever we want, play anything we want. Like. Oh, did you know that there was a transition day at year four as well? Year four looks excited. Year five looks excited for me. It's summertime. Did you know that both year one and year four went to the botanical garden? It must have been a relaxing and exciting adventure for them. We found interesting names of plants. We seen a swan. I love botanic gardens. It's such a beautiful place to observe the nature right in the city. Now let's talk about Sports Day. That's right, it was a day full of fun and friendly competitions among the school houses. Each house had their own teams and got to try different sports. Year 5 and Year 6 even went to Almaty Ariana for different uh, adventures and hard things. We had shot putt and different stuff. One of my favorites was shot putt. We had a lot of fun. We had music on. Ronnie, did you know that head of junior school, Mr. Austin, is leaving? Mr. Austin has been waiting um, in this school for eight years. So I've been here for eight years and I've loved every single moment of it. I've seen you and your friends grow and develop in confidence and get more mature. And it's been an absolute pleasure and privilege to be at this school for so long. And we um, wish him good luck in his future career. Ronnie, did you know if there's so much going on these days, we, if we reported everything, we could talk for hours. Hello everyone, have a nice time, have a nice holiday. Today was the last day of school and I want to pass it to my friend Ronnie now. We wish you a very happy holiday. And that's right, have a nice time and don't forget, even though if you didn't get as much as prizes as everyone else,
all the students who are graduating this year. And I want to, congr and I want to congratulate everyone who received an award. Now, rest and enjoy your summer. I will see you next year. See you next academic year! I'll be in year four then! So exciting! Now I'm in year five. Whoa! Okay, I have no idea what to say. And we saw the pond. And we saw three ponds! I can do it! Bye. Sir Austin. No, 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 I say that part. Just give me, give me 